Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll learn how to animate blinks and eye movements. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the reason we blink. You shouldn't just put a blink to fill up empty space. I heard somewhere that a person blinks every two and a half seconds, so some people just animate a blink every two and a half seconds and that's not really how you're supposed to do it. You should always have a reason to put a blink in. For example, head movement, when someone is turning from left to right, usually there would be a blink there. A change of thought, a realization, when something clicks with the character and he finally realizes something, that's a good place to put a blink. If a character stares too long at something, it would be a good idea to put a blink because usually when you look straight at something for too long, your eyes get dry and you would blink. But let's go into animating and I'll show you what I usually do when I animate blinks. So I just want to say that everything that I'm going to talk about in this tutorial is based on my own experience and is not written in stones. If you know a better way of doing it, you're welcome to do that. This is what works well for me. So take that into consideration. All right, I'm going to cover four different kinds of blinks. Uh, the first one is just a regular blink. That's the most common one, the one that I would usually choose to animate. And you see we have a head movement here and a blink to put in between. So the regular blink would usually be two frames down, then hold on one frame, then three frames to open the eyes again. Now the reason it's two frames to close the eyes and three frames to open them is that it's, it's actually faster to close your eyes than to release the muscle at the end of a blink. So it's a little bit slower to open the eyes. So again, two frames to close, one frame to hold, and then three frames to open. That's the regular bread and butter blink. The next one is a fast blink. I would use that when a character is just staring into the air and you want to keep it alive. That would be two frames to close and then three frames to open. The only thing different here is that I don't have an extra frame to hold the blink. So it's just close and open. Another thing you can do is add an extra frame of hold and just do two frames to open, but I don't like getting out of a blink with only two frames. It kind of it feels kind of fast for me. So two to close and then three to open, no hold. The next blink would be a long blink. You can use that whenever someone is like turning its head or like thinking or if you want to have a slower movement to the character, there will be three frames to close instead of two. Then I'm going to hold it an extra frame more. So that's three frames of closed eyes and then four frames to open the eyes again. The fourth one is not really a blink. It's more of like batting your eyes in kind of a like flirtatious way. Usually it would be used for girls, not for a guy, but in this case we have a guy here. So we're actually not going to close the eyes all the way. It's going to take one frame for us to go halfway close, a little more than halfway closed, and then two frames to go to open the eyes again. Then another frame to do it again, halfway closed, and then two frames to open up again. And it looks like this, like you're batting your eyes. You're not really closing it all the way. Even though in reality you would close your eyes all the way, when you're animating you kind of need to give the feeling that it's a very, very fast blink and we can't afford to waste a frame on keeping the eyes absolutely closed. So one frame to close the eyes halfway and then two frames to open up. The next thing I want to talk about is eye darts, eye movement. Basically when you're moving the eyes, when you're changing direction and you don't have a blink to cover up, you wouldn't use more than three frames for the whole transition. So let's say we go from here to here. That would be like an eye movement. Don't eye movements are really, really, really fast. Don't ever, unless you know there's a very special reason for that. Don't use more than three frames for the transition. That would be one frame at our starting point, one transitional frame, and then the last frame, the ending point. Eye darts are different. Eye darts are not animated with transitional frames. They are animated on step. And I typically use three kinds of eye darts. The first one is when the character is talking to someone, he's looking left to right because when we talk to someone, we look at it at their eyes. 
So looking left to right is kind of like the character looking at your left eye and then the right eye and moving between these two. So for conversation eye darts, you would use that one. I have this. I have one frame looking to the right and then to the left. Eye darts. No transitional frames, very quick, just left to right for a conversation. The second eye dart I would use is sizing up a person or an object. Say you're meeting someone and you want to like check him out or like see who you're dealing with. That would be an up and down eye dart. See? Sizing up the person you're talking to. The third eye dart is a more commonly used one. And that's a character walking into a place or or looking at its surroundings, you would want to create a triangle shape eye dart. What do I mean by that? Looking left, then down, then up. We're creating a triangle shape with these three eye darts. Because we're basically scanning the room. We're looking around us. Because whenever you look at an object, your eye kind of tend to go to look at the object in a triangular shape. Left, right, and up or left, down, and right, or whatever combination of the three. Now, before we finish up, uh, something nice to know. Looking up and to the left means that a character is trying to recall some kind of visual memory. And up and to the right means that a character is trying to recall imaginary visuals, which means that the character is making something up as opposed to actually trying to remember something that happened to him. So if you want a character to be lying, you would look into the right, to the upper right. And if a character is actually thinking and trying to remember something that happened to him, you would look to the upper left. That's just something that's nice to know when you're animating eye movement. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something you want me to make a tutorial about, please leave a comment in the comment section below.